Nelda Inuarak is all set to start grade four, wearing her favorite unicorn mask. My favorite mask. Nelda is one of thousands of Yukon students already back in school, with masks and a lot more distance. Kids and adults are excited and anxious. Uh, with this COVID-19, I'm still kind of, you know, as a mother. It's really good to have the kids back and um, we're a bit nervous and not sure how everything will go. Um, I'm really excited for a lot of people I know. It's like all you can think about for the past week. A lot of things are very different this year. Here at Elijah Smith Elementary, Principal Jeff Cressman won't let you in without a squirt of hand sanitizer. Big red arrows lead to desks nearly two meters apart, or to this classroom full of shower curtains. But the teachers also and the EAs are also mindful that every student's a different learner and they, they're not all gonna just be able to sit in a desk that's spaced six feet apart all day. All over the halls, posters remind students to keep their distance and wash their hands. It's not gonna be people yelling at a kid if they uh, happen to give you a hug. The president of the Yukon Teachers Association hopes this new year will go smoothly. It's worrisome because we're the first doing it and I'm hoping other jurisdictions learn from what we're doing. We needed to dive in and try and put our plans into place and to discover what's working. I'd rather know by the end of tomorrow what's not working so that we can implement it on Monday. So, how was the first day? It was strange. Samantha Kirby can't play the trumpet in band. Wind instruments and singing aren't allowed. The only things we're allowed to play right now in the school band is drums and strings. It was frustrating. Um, honestly, grade 8 was a lot easier being able to walk around, talk to people, go out to lunch and like the atrium and now we just have to sit down and we can't really move a lot of the time. We had to spread out and stuff, we had to wear masks. It's just yeah. super tight schedule. It's, just, it's, it's a change, but, yeah. but we'll adapt. We'll adapt. Maybe the most important lesson of this pandemic school year. Laura Howells, CBC News, Whitehorse.